G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel. Goodies, beer reviews. Apologise for my husky voice. <coughs> if it is husky, it's probably just fucking old. Look what I got today. Brew dog. I, I was going through Aldi today. I'll tell you about my day in a minute. For the people who enjoyed brew dog. Ald. E. But Ald. Durant. Ald. IPA. Own. Label. Session IPA. In. Aldi Colours, Brewdog, you guys just don't stop up there. But Brewdog, I think, is like that Aldi of the Coles, of the Woolies. You know, Brewdog's pumped up with with um, Aldi. And I look, I'll tell you now, people will go, oh, some of the products aren't from Australia. Oh, fucking mate. The phone I do all these videos on, not matey. So we've got to get over some of that shit. I understand that we've got to produce more here and all, but we won't get into that. We're not a finance channel. But I'm happy to give you some advice. Brewdog Owl IPA own label session IPA riding all over it on a very big crest like a family logo. We'll get to that in a minute. Brewdog, in case you didn't knew it was Brewdog. This is 4%. So this is a mid-strength IPA, which you don't see a lot of. A mid-strength lager, you're like, oh, a mid-strength hazy, you know, but an IPA, which is usually bigger in ABV, like six, seven, eight plus, and they've gone, we'll do one at 4%. You know what? Brewdog Hop Nation, I keep calling it fiction, Hop Nation is an amazing drop. I love it. It's like Bolter Easy Hazy. This was $16 for a four-pack. I know, everyone just fell over in Australia. 4% ABB, 375 mil can because you's Brewdog listens to Goody. They obviously listen to Goody. Um, it's got some labels here. Uh, pregnancy warning is actually, it's laying down this time, so high risk. Independent, I love it. Uh, brewed in Brisbane, I remember that. And certified carbon negative, so some tree is still alive. But is that the way it works? No. Firm hiss crack on the can. I'm excited. I'm a little bit excited. I've had some more good news today. Well, not good news. Now, I had a quick accidental Google of this because I said, have I reviewed this on um, YouTube? Like, you know, I looked it up and I hadn't. And they said it's pretty much a, it's got a nice, good carbonation, pushes it around the mouth. But it lacks hoppiness and it lacks this and lacks that. Well, but it's generally okay. Look, I, I like Brewdog. If you say to me, Brew, I've got to go to that brewery or one of their breweries. Um, i really been impressed with some of the beers from Brewdog. They all have their goods and bads, I suppose, personal taste. Beer is quite clear here. Uh, not much head, minimal head. But the glass is in the best. And Nick, I'll be honest, I'm not one of those freaks that pulls out fresh glass every time. I, I haven't really... My maybe reuse this. There's no disclaimer on it. So, anyway, let's have a sniff. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Uh, not much on the nose. Why well, I just get a hint of Galaxy. I mean, I use Galaxy a lot in brewing, so you sort of get to know some of the smells. Galaxy, Simcoe, Citra. Yeah, not much of a schmear, uh, schmell. I got a four pack of this. Schnip, schmell, sh whatever. Let's go. It does look watery, but you know, let's go. If it's watery and you've got good carbonation, it still pushes it around the mouth. And I know people can just drink it. Yeah, not, uh, not much. Hoppiness. I hate reading reviews or seeing anything before I actually, and I haven't watched a review, like I said, just notes. I think from that, uh, the brew site or one of the brew sites, it pops up everywhere. The carbonation does give it a good mouthfeel. It, it doesn't feel like a washy mouthfeel, but it is lacking punch and it is lacking taste. But... Is it a mini IPA? Would you session this 
for something with a bit of taste at 4%, for $16 a four-pack over, say, a seven, I get seven for $20 cans of new VB, um, you know, anything like mainstream, seven for 20. So would you pay four for 16 or pretty much the same amount for this instead? I closed my eyes just then and I drank that. It doesn't taste like an IPA. I don't know why to be named IPA. Brewdog, I'm no professional. I'm a fucking, you know, an idiot. But own label session IPA, I reckon this tastes a bit more like an XPA. It's got a bit of a rough end. Session XPA. IPAs are bold. IPAs are multi. You, you've, got, you've got your different styles of IPAs. You, you know, your West Coast IPAs, New England IPAs. Southern IPAs, fucking triple IPAs, double IPAs, chocolate, you get fucking any IPA. This is the thing. If you put a can of this next to um, Hop Nation, uh, Hop Nation to me would shit all over this. But I love Hot Nation. But you're dealing with a 4% beer to a 4% or 45 or 42 I can't remember the exact ABV of Hot Nation. But um, I'd choose the pink can over the blue can. This is a very, it does, it starts off great, but it's a bit, it's, it's, it is a bit disappointing. Sorry, Brewdog. I still want a fucking T-shirt. But it's just, yeah, but it's for Audi and it's big. And it's cool to have an IPA that's mid-strength. I think it's a cool idea, but it needs more hops. And is it... Well, let's read the label, because maybe I missed something. United we stand for better beer. Uh, Fiercely defiant and independent. Blue writing on a blue can. Fuck, I hate that. Um, Make it bold. Yeah, look. I can try and read it. This beer came to be after Brewdog co-founder, James, uh, discovered Aldi, there you go, um, had created a beer called, um, oh, fucking something, IPA, A&H or, anyway, which to scarcely close to our own punk IPA, uh, a Twitter back and forth, ensued and this beer was born well look i get the fuck good on you brew dog keep brewing i love your beers i do i do and i fucking like i shouldn't swear sorry i far out like aldi i like aldi it's good it's better different <sighs> should sponsored next next time you'll see out you'll see goody rocking around with a brew dog hat and an aldi shirt <laughs> Worried about what the crack of a can sounds like. Oh, fuck it. I laugh at me. Yeah, look. The more you drink it, the more you do get a slight fruit, a slight malt, a slight IPA, but it is very distant, very distant. You would confuse this more with a an XBA or a pale. It, I reckon, it, imagine if it was... But see, you've got the... Yeah, Anyway, if you've got other beers which they've already fit the brief, they've done this for a bit of, you know, if, if it sells, it's going to sell. I picked it up straight away. Um, or would I pick it up again for $16 for a four-pack? Yeah. Bloody oath. It's 4%. But it's a bit of fun. It's a, it's a session IPA. A few of these around a Barbie. Oh, stop. You know one thing I haven't done for a while? Or actually did it in Thailand. The teenager and I, he said, I wanted to go to a... Um, oh, God, fucking blank. But you know where you put all your food in the bowl and you cook it? Um, I can... Oh, everyone's saying it. Uh, hot pot. <laughs> I fucking got there. Dementia. Uh, hot pot. But, like, they don't tell you how to use it. Like, do you charge per plate of beef or do you like seafood like what it's on the app and like every time you press is it like 
But it's all, this one was all you can eat, I think. Well, we didn't pay a lot, but but you cook it. And they, like, I've I've learned a little bit about how to cook. I mean, beefs are easy, meats are easy, chickens are easy, but seafood, the little the little squids and the little um, prawns, octopus, anything like that, like, you've got to know temperatures. Are, um, look, temperatures are more important with seafood because once you go over in a steak, unless you're a professional, you can still eat the thing, eh? I wanted it medium rare and if it's well done, you'd still throw it on a sanger or you'd still fucking eat it and go, you know, it's a meal, isn't it? It's your fucking steak. Chicken. Well, I don't like my chicken medium rare. I've, I've never had it. That's why probably I'm still eating. There's some freak that eats raw chicken. That's fucking... Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even the smell of chicken sometimes, the waft. But then seafood, once you overcook it, it's fucked. It's like rubber. A few of these little squids I put in, I was a bit paranoid because I didn't want to get sick over there and, like, walk home and basically have to crap on a street like some animal, like... Well, people do. Like, you know what I mean? I just didn't want to pick... I'm fucking, like, in a foreign country. So you be respectful and you be polite. But I'll tell you one thing about Bangkok and Thailand over there and around Sook and being a soak and Nana and around there. Like if you need to go to a loo uh, real bad, like just say you do, go into one of the, the hotels. And this sounds so racist and stereotypical, but if you're white or even a, even a black fella, even a, um, a, a tourist, oh, fucking white, black tourist, fucking two types of people, remember, dickheads and good people. I don't care who you are. Go in there and they'll, let, they'll just let you use the toilet. It doesn't matter. Toilet, toilet. And just know the word for toilet. Like bunga, I think it's toilet. Or bunga, or bunga is toilet. Uh, and they'll, yeah, you use it. It's just like a forum toilet. Whereas a lot of the locals wouldn't go in. It's like, yeah. Like if you're in the city, would you just walk into a Novotel and snap one off? In Australia, you would. <laughs> but yeah, over there, things are just different in different countries. Love each other, take care of each other, be kind. If you see this, I'd say give it a try. But it is, it, look, I know what all the hopheads are going to say. Oh, it's not an IPO, it's not, it's good for, but you know what? It's a bit of fun. It's Audi. It's got a few bucks off, which is what we love. It's in a big can. It's 4%. It's sessionable. And if you like it, you like it. I'm not offended by it. I'd never crush that can, like unfortunately a few did the other night. I'll see you at the next one. Lazy weekend. Love it. Catches.